Hey guys, today I'm going to show you Goodbye Agony. I'm going to go ahead and go over the clean part real quick with you uh, first. So when we recorded the song, um, the clean part was recorded in D. Um, the rest of the song, however, is in drop C. So when it came time to figure out how to play the whole thing as a song, we kind of went, oh crap, what did we do? Um, so basically we have to take the easy way of playing the clean part and now it's really difficult, or, well, a lot more difficult than the way it was recorded um, to play everything on the same guitar. So, basically how it was recorded, you know, was just a simple thing like this. Pretty simple, right? Now we've got to do this whole kind of deal. doing this whole the thing um, so let's go ahead and break it down for you so if you're trying to learn this song I'm gonna teach it to you the way we play it live and how to play it all on one guitar because there's no point to really teach it to you the other if you're in drop C this is how you're gonna play this song so we're gonna start out on the second fret this finger is gonna be barring a lot of stuff here um, so we'll start out on your A string second fret then ring finger is going to go on uh, blah, 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 your D or G string on the fourth fret so you're going to have your pinky and your middle finger here to kind of be on these frets so you're just going to kind of try to stick your positioning to each finger to each fret so these four frets right so we're going to play so I'm going to bar that so I don't have to play it because we want those notes to ring out together. So. So I'm playing on the B string. Um, second to third fret. So the second fret's barred with my first finger. So I'm just playing that. Then this is the tricky part. Um, your pinky's gotta come up here on the sixth string on the fifth fret to play that note. So then our, our middle finger is going to come off. So we're basically playing this shape. But we're still barring that because I've got to go down to here next to the second fret. So all together we've got. Then we're going to go to the fourth fret on the, on the low E. Then to the third fret on your G string. Three, four, six. And then it repeats. Okay, so that's the first part. Now, there's a little change in there. It goes like this. Basically, um, we just slide up. So when we go pinky goes up to six. Did you just run into the wall, little man? I think you just ran right into the wall. That hurt, didn't it? Ouch. Yikes. What's you doing, crazy man? Dog ran into the wall. All right. No wonder you're so stupid and one eye goes the other direction. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, Alright, so... <laughs> I guess Ernie's joined the lesson here. He wants to learn how to play it too. Yeah? You want to learn how to play it, buddy? Okay. So, basically, anyway, the... Your pinky finger just slides up to the 6th fret and the rest stays the same. So that's the clean part played the difficult way all on one guitar to be able to play the rest of the song together. If you're wondering why we did this, we didn't mean to. It just, you know, when we're playing stuff, we write parts and there's a lot of guitars laying around. So
gotta really dig in on that last part. Until your strings break. And the solo goes like this. pretty crappily played but here's it broken down uh, the 14th fret on the high E like a half bend so we're basically 14 12 10 so then here on the B string we're going from 12 to 10 so you could take that that shape all the way down. So we're skipping a string there. fast run so here's that a little bit closer and slow down as much as I possibly can without screwing it up too much oh like that all right guys that was goodbye agony so if you liked the video please like it subscribe to my channel check out my other videos and if you want to pick up this guitar my signature Schecter go ahead and check out the link below it'll take you where you can get it all right I'll see you guys next time to the fifth fret here we're playing this not that whoops that's not right